Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with the content, a little announcement, today finally I'm receiving my NVIDIA RTX 3080, so if you want to see a little unboxing video then make sure to subscribe here to the channel so you will get notified once I upload the video. I will do also a small mining review, so definitely check out that video. And uh, now we can start straight into the content because Bitcoin after coming very close to our resistance in this channel that we are in now in the last couple of days, we are seeing a little correction. And the question of course right now is, are we seeing the next coming hours and days continuation to the upside and potentially test here this $14,200 area? Or are we in here for a bigger correction potentially towards the bottom here? And the bottom currently is right at $11,100. This is also where we have some very small CME gaps, but also where our main support is lining up here in this uh, channel. So in the four hour time frame, like I also showed you yesterday, we had here this bearish divergence, a lower high in the RSI, a higher high in the price. Currently it's playing out and I still think we still have some room left to the downside. But this area here at around $12,900, is an important support during this uptrend that we are seeing right now. So I'm expecting here a possible bounce to the upside, potentially even to take out this high and go and test $14,000 before maybe we see continuation here to the downside because we will not go straight up here in a straight line. Pullbacks are always possible and in that case, in my opinion, we will most likely see this $11,100 incoming pretty soon and also if we have a look into the indicators you can see that in the four hour currently everything is shifted to the downside macd ksd stochastic currently is in oversold condition so we could see a possible bounce to the upside but since we are closing four hour candles here on the bearish side of the bollinger band i think it is pretty clear that we will most likely see maybe one last bounce before continuation to the downside and the bottom currently is here at twelve thousand eight hundred dollar this is right at our main support Support. So I'm expecting here some sideways action, maybe a little less leg up before maybe we're seeing $11,100. I have also some longs in there because I think if we're coming down to these levels, we will most likely see another bounce to the upside. Only if this main support here, this green line is getting broken, then I think we could maybe even reach $9,000. And therefore, if you're starting to long here, make sure to scale in into your trades down to $9,000 or in the worst case, close it or put a stop loss right below $11,000. And also if you have a look into the DXY, you can see that currently the DXY is breaking out from this structure that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks. So if this falling wedge is going to play out, we're going to see most likely a big push to the upside in the DXY. And that of course could lead into a similar crash like we had in March for the stock market and also for the Bitcoin price. Because the DXY currently is testing this previous resistance, which now should be new support. So even though we could see some wicks to the downside here as long as we are now trading above this green line the dxy has now the chance to have a big push to the upside at any time and as you can see also here in my own indicator i'm getting a sell signal in the dxy so there is still a high chance that maybe we could have another crash to the downside before potentially we're going to see a big move to the upside because if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that here we are hitting a buy signal and also we closed yesterday above the 20 and 50 daily moving average so the next step would be here to test potentially the 100 or the 200 daily moving average right here at around 97 dollars and that of course is very dangerous for the stock market and also for the bitcoin price and if we have a look into the daily in the bitcoin price you can see that currently we are testing the nine day moving average and if this one is getting broken the target would be straight to go down here towards the 20 daily moving average at twelve thousand two hundred dollar this is where i'm expecting some more sideways movements potentially even a lag to the upside to retest twelve thousand nine hundred dollar and then maybe have continuation down towards eleven thousand one hundred dollar this is where the main support is lining up and from there i'm expecting another attack towards fourteen thousand dollars if we are not able to bounce right now towards 14k and maybe even break it to the upside because as long as we are staying in this channel here i'm expecting the price to go up and down before we're gonna see a clear big breakout here to the upside or 
to the downside and that's why if you're starting to short right now make sure to put a stop loss slightly above $14,200 and also if you have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that currently we are testing here this 9 day moving average and if this one is getting broken be prepared to go straight towards $12,200 this is our next possible support before maybe continuation towards $11,000 we still have MACD and KSD shifted to the upside only stochastic is now coming down after being overbought so in theory we still have some chances to see some bounces to the upside but overall I think it is almost guaranteed that we will see right now a correction at least towards 12k area maybe even towards $11,000 since the DXY also is starting to look like it wants to try to push towards the 200 daily moving average and now since we are coming very close to the end of the month let's go straight into the monthly time frame we didn't cover this time frame in the last couple of weeks so that's why it is also very important that we cover this time frame because currently Bitcoin is trading above all the highs that we had during this year and the last high that we have to take out before maybe we are going straight towards 20k is this one over here at $13,800 so of course the most bullish thing would be if we can close a bullish monthly candle above this price level but I don't think that we will see it for this month maybe next month or in December we should be able to close a monthly candle above this high here so in the bigger picture we are remaining still very bullish even though we could see from here on a possible correction maybe even a bigger one since first we have now the DXY which is breaking out from this falling wedge which could lead into a bigger crash and second if this is forming a double top formation here we could potentially go down here to test the nine month moving average right here at 10k or potentially even towards the 20 monthly moving average at $9,000 so that's why my friends you see that this 9k area is a very key level in case of a bigger crash and also if we are topping out here and see another leg to the downside we will come down here towards the main support of around $11,100 and if this one is getting broken my target is to reach this area here because here between 10k to $9,000 I think we will have very strong buy power and this is also where I personally am going to try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as I can also because right now I also took a very small portion of profits here and I already have some buy orders starting from $11,000 down to 9 Okay, so let's see where we're gonna close this monthly candle. If we are able to close above $14,000, I think we will not see any kind of bigger correction in the next coming weeks. But if we are not able to take out this high and possibly also close above this high this month, then I think it's about time to have a small pullback at least towards $12,000 to $11,000. And there we're gonna see also what the DXY is doing because if the DXY is starting to push towards the 200 daily moving average, then maybe we're gonna see a major crash towards 10 k or 9k before we're gearing up here again towards 14k and then also break it definitely so we can go to new levels and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also if you need any kind of trading exchanges you find all the recommended exchanges down below here in the video description with my referral links you support the channel and also you will get some bonus and also if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure that you join my discord trading chat you find the link down below here and also you find all the referral links to coinbase swiss Borg, binance and so on with my links you will get some free money as well so you can buy even more cryptos so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye